Okay, check out the last video. We moved the fuselage to Statesville. So it's got a hanger now, no longer here in the garage. And what we have is one of the two wings. This is actually the left wing. One of the greatest features about the Bearhawk B model kit is the wing. And this is the hairy riblet wing. So what happened from the A model to the B model? Well, the A model wing was a NACA wing, 4412. Uh, NACA being the National Advisory Committee to Aeronautics, and it was a decent wing. There, a lot of certified airplanes use that wing today, but Harry Riblet looked at it and said, I think it can do better, and he actually modified the NACA wing, and he created this Riblet wing. I'll put, it, I'll put some information in the video down at the bottom about Harry Riblet and the Riblet airfoil. Uh, all of the Bearhawks now have the Harry Riblet airfoil, and what's great about it is it's called the soft stall wing. In other words, it's a much more forgiving wing. And for those of you that are familiar with maybe the moose stall, which is a very tragic situation for some people who maybe, let's say for example, taking a left turn, you've got your left wing tip down, and all of a sudden you decide, I wanna see my target, you're still turning, and you did that by applying right aileron in a left turn, and now all of a sudden it, you're on your back and you're spinning. It's killed a lot of people. The Harry Riblet airfoil is probably one of the safest airfoils out there for this type of uh, backcountry mission, backcountry flying, uh, the type of flying that the Bearhawk is really known for. So, so now that I have one of the wings here, let's walk through it real quick and kind of show you the steps needed to do the assembly. This will be the quickest part of the build is assembling the wing. I'm using the Avapro builder's manual this is the wing assembly portion of the builder's manual. And all I've really done here is I've taken all of the steps in the manual and just condensed it into a checklist on a notepad here. And I'm gonna just go through these real quickly and just describe all of the steps that I will go through to complete the assembly of this wing. You'll notice that when the wing is delivered, it is almost fully built. Only thing left to do is a lot of the internal functions uh, the skin, this final skin will be riveted in place uh, once we complete a lot of these internal assemblies. Uh, for right now, the skin uh, is just propped up. It, when it was delivered, it was pop riveted in a few places just to hold it in place. Uh, I've drilled out those pop rivets and propped up this wing skin. So now we can get to the inside uh, of the wing and start talking about what needs to happen next. First thing we're gonna do is work on this flap actuator. This will be the torque tube over to the flap actuator. The springs will be attached here and there, there will be a push rod that comes out here to actually actuate the uh, flaps. Next will be the aileron bell crank. will be installed here. Got the aileron bell crank here. Got the aileron push rod here. Routing for the aileron cables will come through here, there will be a pulley installed right here. There'll be another pulley installed here. Take a 90 degree turn and we'll come up here to the bell crank. After those two mechanical features are completed, we will actually take the ailerons and the flaps, which are uh, already assembled. They just need to be covered in aluminum. Uh, the ailerons will need to be balanced we will use some, uh, some, lead, some lead shot for the balancing, the balance tube on the ailerons, uh, fabric cover both the flaps and the ailerons, and then we'll begin working on attaching those with the hinges. Next, we will install the fuel tank. This wing is flipped upside down, so the fuel tank will be dropped in into this bay here and then the fuel lines will come out from the wing root and that's where they will attach to the fuel fittings on the fuselage. Here's what the fuel tank looks like, 27 and a half gallons. So we have both the uh, fuel bungs, front and rear, and this will be the sight gauges. Fuel filler neck is located here. Once the tank is installed, we'll put nut plates in place. Uh, and then we'll, at that point, begin working on the tank covers. We'll run wiring, so whatever wiring we need to go out to uh, the wing tips for the lights, 
Uh, we also will have a pitot tube on this wing that will have to be installed. Uh, so we'll have static lines that will need to be ran. From there, we'll be running cables for the ailerons. This is a closed loop system, so there'll be a continuous loop running from the inside of the cabin, uh, front, front of the cabin to the rear of the cabin, all the way through both wings. So after all those internal components are installed, it's now going to be time to rivet the wing skin down. So we'll be uh, using some A and 3 rivets. These will be the flush squeeze type rivets. Uh, we'll have to buck those. And so I'm going to need to have some help with that. I'm going to probably get somebody from my local EAA chapter to come out and give me a hand with that. Obviously, we're going to need somebody on the outside of the wing skin to uh, hold the um, rivet gun and then somebody inside to hold the bucking bar. As you can see, I've got a few inspection panels throughout the wing here. And uh, also included with the kit, I got these doublers and of course the actual inspection covers. And from that point, we can begin thinking about putting or installing the wing tip, but that's not gonna happen until after we remove the uh, wing from the rotisserie. So it'll probably be, uh, I'll probably set this on a table, uh, put my nut plates in, for the, this is going to be a flush mounted or a butt joint sort of a wing tip. I'm trying not to have an overlap. Uh, I want to have this a smooth transition from wing tip into the wing itself. So again, that's just a quick video on the wing assembly. I should be able to bang out these wings. This first one's gonna take the most time because I'm learning. The second one won't take as much time at all because I will have done it already. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.